everybody, it's Christopher from Swimming Sketch with the Four Amazing Nights update for the 14th of November 2011. Hi guys, just going to be looking at the Four Majors, starting with Eurogans US on our CTC strategy template. Uh, I've got six time frames, just going to be going over the daily first to see what's been happening. You can see that Friday's uh, bar close relatively higher from the Thursday and consolidation here uh, after a significant downside movement. And uh, this pretty much coming on news of the change in Euro, uh, Berlusconi stepping down, uh, change, Greece, uh, new government in place, and the market was very happy with that. And we saw this massive up candle here on Friday. Asia market opened this Sunday evening um, very tentatively, trading slightly higher. Now, where does that leave us? Well, if you look at the, uh, I'm just going to draw some fib retracement areas here you can quite clearly see from the high that we saw recently to the low of October uh, you notice that price is now trading above 38.2 and um, heading back to the 50% line uh, that would ultimately be our next target uh, that's where we've come from you can see quite clearly there 138500 we've seen a lot of resistance um, so bouncing higher at the 23.6 that would have been our first target on the intraday time frame for Friday broke straight through it to the 38.2 now so sitting above that, we should ultimately be looking at 38, uh, the 38,500 market as our next target. Let's have a look and see where price is trading. If I take it from the high that we saw recently to the low of this candle here, you can quite clearly see that we're starting to see some of these fib retracement areas starting to bunch up. So you can quite clearly see the 50 and the 50, well, both 50s are together here at the 138,500. So there's a, a noticeable resistance level. Notice where price is trading now though, on this retracement level here at the 38.2, under the 38.2. Ideally, I'd like to see a break and close higher than that, excuse me. A break above this level here, uh, trading above 13.80 to obviously see some support and then we could look at ultimately intraday, the highs here at 13.8500 being our next potential target. 38.2 as resistance as we speak now, got to see they're being breached intraday to see any further ex extensions to the upside. Um, and then ultimately what we'll be looking at roughly around here at 138500 is our next target. You can quite clearly see a lot of resistance, a lot of areas there where we're seeing um, support and res uh, well, in this particular case resistance. So in that area there, resistance. Oops. Um, if failure to get above that and resistance being found at this area here at 38.2 at roughly the 13.780 if I'm not mistaken. Then we could potentially be looking back down here between 1365 and 1368 as our potential target to the downside. So you can see price is trading in this consolidation range. You can notice they had a lot of action here in between these areas. So very, very important to see 38.2 being breached. That will give us an indication that we should be looking for further highs. Now, intraday, a failure to, uh, to find support above that area here at 13800. We'll potentially be looking for further downside back down to 13700 in the intraday time frame. Next up is sterling. Let's have a look at this daily price range. If you take the high that we saw here in August of this year and pull down a FIB retracement, you'll notice that price found support at the 50% and uh, we saw price trading higher. Noticeably on Friday we saw highs testing so we went right from 15 Price finding support here at the 1590500 and, and really heading higher to the 1610, which happened to be prior resistance. Um, if we take a fib of the low we saw here in October, we pull it to the highs that we saw at 1615, the high over here, for example, you can quite clearly see that there was a noticeable support and resistance level at the 23.6. So a lot of that needs to be breached. This candle closing lower. Ideally, your entry would be in the low of this candle here to see any further downside movement, but because the CTC is still blue, that still looks for favor that we could potentially see bounce. Um, intraday, you could have looked at potentially the lows here at 59, uh, close lower on the 59,900 for potential lows. That never materialized after you saw that spinning top at the bottom of a trading range or this, this, this bearish engulfing here, and we saw an upside candle because of that. Price is still trading below the institution moving average, guys. We need to be trading above that to be looking long-term bullish for this pair. As it stands now, we're seeing consolidation, a definite consolidation range um, occurring here between 15,9500 and the 
10 mark or 16, 15 hundred. It's your choice. But you can clearly see there happens to be a consolidation range in that area. And we've got to see a break of either side of that to see a confirmation trend or, or some sort of confirmation in terms of direction. At the moment now we're just bouncing higher, but on the underside of the institution moving average. And as I mentioned, we need to be trading above that to be looking long term uh, trend bullish upside or break lower to see a failure at this um, breakout uh, a failure of this this consolidation to the upside and we could be looking returning back to the downside but notice we can quite clearly see here that 1590 is a very strong support and we have a resistance level at the 1610 or 16100 mark which is the 61.8 fib retracement area so I've got to be breaking above that but then if you're trading above that then we could be looking at the 161500 as our intraday um, targets which is the institution moving average a failure to do so then obviously what we could be seeing is resistance level here and we could be trading back down to the 159500 so intraday could be interesting see what happens we are consolidating very small trading range uh, on the Asian session but just be aware that we had prior resistance at this level at 1610 161500 and you can quite clearly see that the lows over here You'll notice that price action is forming lower swings. So ideally we want to see that trend being breached. Otherwise what we're seeing is price action. The more times it's attempting the high to the upside, we notice that that momentum is now dragging lower. You could always look at an RSR, a relative plot of relative strength to give you an idea of um, if it's a genuine move to with price. There we go. We'll just put that on there quickly so I can show you guys. I'll just put that on the chart. Let's have a look and see what relative strength is doing. So yeah, it's pretty much mimicking what what price action is doing as we speak. Let's have a look and see if that's parameters. Yeah, let's change that to 21. Voila. You can see quite clearly see that we're still trading above the 50 period moving average, 50% uh, line, which indicates we're in a, a bullish upside move. Notice, however, as price has been making lower highs, so has the RSR. So that's confirming that price action is pulling back. But you notice that we're still above the 50. Okay, and as long as we're still above 50, we're still looking bullish upside. Um, and the more we trade above the 50 line, then there's more likelihood that we, in this pullback, you can see that trend line has been tested as we see here, the trend line of here. And ultimately what we could do is look back down to the towards the 50% line as our next potential target which is back to the 50.9500 if price fails to, to break that. For price to be looking bullish, we need to see the RSR trading above the prior swing. In this case, would have been this attempt here, the prior uh, attempt here, back at this level here, roughly the 57 on the RSR. So we need to be trading well above 16.15 to see that momentum. As, as you can see, RSR is dipping uh, as we go into today and which, and that, if that's the case, then we could see another swing low, which is lower than the previous one, which is confirming that price action is doing exactly that. So it'll be interesting to see if we go to our smaller time frames, um, say for example the hourly, to see how that relative strength is working in conjunction. So you can see price moving higher over the past couple hours, but and you can see a noticeable pullback. If that pullback still stays above the 50% uh, line, then ultimately we could see price just uh, moving, consolidating after the big move to the upside. Uh, with 50% back to the institution moving average, 38. The price fails to, to find support at 23.6 on the hourly, then ultimately we should be looking at the 32 point, sorry, 38.2 area at the 1602 mark as our first potential target back to 20 and 50% back to the 1600, which is going to be our institution moving average intraday. Next pair is US dollar Swiss franc. Let's have a look at this one over here. You can see the low that we had back in August to the highs. You notice that price is still trading above the 23.6% line. If we take a FIB uh, retracement from the high to the previous low here, just above, just around the 8600, which happens to be the, the pegging area for this pair on on this particular area, the US dollar Swiss franc. But uh, 86 is also uh, the, the pair or the pegging area for the euro Swiss franc, which was at 120. You can see that if I drop that on here, you can see the price is moving back towards a 50% line, which happened to be price support and res uh, price support. Uh, and back to the moving averages, we have the 20 and the 50 now 
pretty much close together. 50 pair still moving higher, and the 20 pretty much uh, moving sideways. Uh, so as it stands now, you can see that the 89.50 is a potential support. Got to break below that to look at potentially 88.50 being our next potential target at 38.2. A break below that would take us back to the 23% mark, which happens to be price support and resistance. And then we're going to a lot of consolidation here. Not a very small trading range. You can see very consolidative around this area because at the 86 is the pegging uh, area for this pair. As long as price is trading above that or the um, Swiss, uh, the US dollar Swiss franc is trading above it, then that's exactly where the Swiss government wanted this price to be trading above. The moment it starts going below that, then obviously we could see um, the Swiss government potentially uh, intervening. So very, very important. The higher swing up to trend here in play. Notice price is running above all that, so the CTC is blue. If we can see a bounce here at 89.50, then we could see potentially the 905 and back up to the prior highest yet 915 as our first target. US dollar Japanese yen is the last pair of the day. Here's a daily. You can see price action after that intervention that we saw just recently, beginning of November, not really stacking up. Price has been pulling back ever since. If I take a fib retracement error from the high and the low, sorry, the, the low and the high of this candle here. You notice that uh, 23.6 was the resistance level, price fell to materials above. We saw 38.2 as a support, a clear support at 7800 for, for a number of days, almost a full week. Price broke below it, fell to, to, to actually pull back, and then 50% being our first target. And then a break below that on Friday, saw price really tempting the 61.8, and now you can see price is testing the lows of that 61.8. A break below that would see price moving back into this consolidation range that we've been seeing Price trading for some time now. I clearly see a consolidation range over here. And if that's the case, then we should be looking way back down here at 100% again. It's important that price actually bounces here at 7700. Otherwise, it looks like we're going to see price trading below all the moving averages. And it looks like it's running out of steam again. This intervention is running out of steam. And we should be looking for potentially uh, further lows to occur during the remaining or for the coming weeks. So 61.8. Yeah, 7700 needs to stay fast today. We need to see price trading above it. A fair to see that occurring. Could uh, switch this back to negative sentiment to the downside. And ultimately, we would be trading back into this consolidation range. And ultimately, 7550 would be our long term target for this pair if this remains bullish. So we've got to see a bounce. This is the last area now. It, it can find support. If it fails to do that, then ultimately, the pullback is far too great. And by then, giving us confirmation that this price action move here was irrelevant and we should be seeing price revert into the downside. That's it guys, hope you have a fantastic trading day. Please make sure if you are trading, be aware of any fundamental news announcements that are coming out. We are seeing um, Italy and Greece, they've had change in governments. Now we're gonna be seeing um, their new um, prime ministers uh, have been sworn in. So let's see what happens now in terms of uh, stability plans for Italy and the bailout funding for Greece, etc. all going through to see any further positiveness in the market. If we see uh, more stalemates occurring and, and, and the longer it goes on, then ultimately it's still going to be looking very bearish for the euro outside. So these guys need to get on, crack on, find um, some sort of um, level pe peg when they can actually come up with some sort of agreement uh, with the eurozone, especially for for um, the Italy and, and, and Greece now. And then we should see price action confirming that on, uh, on the charts. If not, the more indecisive or the more um, we sit and ponder or the longer they take, then ultimately what we'll be looking at is potentially for further downside to occur. Have a fantastic day and trade serenely.